In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix the Roblox white screen glitch when trying to launch the game or if you're in the middle of a game and your screen just all of a sudden goes white. So there's a few different things that you can do to fix this issue, but I will also pop a link in the description below to our website where we may have more methods on how to fix this issue that we have come across. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is just ensure that Windows is up to date and also your graphics driver. So to check if Windows is up to date, all we need to do is right click on the start menu icon, go to settings, click on update and security, and you then need to click the check for updates button. So the methods that I'm showing you are in Windows 10, however, they will also work in Windows 11. So in Windows 11, you would have just selected Windows Update. So once you've updated Windows, the next thing you're going to want to do is just ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. If you're not sure what graphics card you have, you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to device manager. Next, you need to expand display adapters. And as you can see, I do have two graphics cards here. However, this one here is actually on my processor. So that's not the one that I'm using. I'm using the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super, which means I'd need to go to the NVIDIA website and download the latest driver for that graphics card. I will also pop a couple of links in the description below to our website where we show you how to update your graphics card driver if you're not too sure on how you can do this. So once you have updated Windows and your graphics driver, go ahead and launch Roblox and see if that helped with the white screen issue. If that didn't fix the problem, the next thing you need to do is keep the Roblox app open if that's the version of Roblox you're using. Alrighty, so the next thing that you need to do is just ensure you're not using the beta version of the Roblox app. So we need to go to the home page section of the app, so come out of the game that you're currently in, if you are in one, then select the three dots on the left hand side in the menu. Next, you need to select settings. There may be an option here, it depends if they've changed it, however at the time of doing this video, you need to go into settings, and you will then see an option within here to leave the beta version of the app. You need to go ahead and click on that button. If the button doesn't work, then try signing into a different Roblox account and then go back onto it and then try and leave the Roblox beta version through that other user. And then once that works, then sign back into your normal Roblox account. So once you've done that, go ahead and try Roblox again if you were using the beta version of the app and see if that fixed the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing that we need to do is just completely close down the Roblox app. Once closed, you now need to open up the start menu icon and you then need to type in Roblox. We now need to right click on Roblox and you then need to go to app settings. We then need to scroll down and you now need to click on terminate and you then need to click on the repair button. This is going to repair the app. Once it's got the tick, launch the game and see if that helped. If it didn't, then we're now going to click on reset. And you then need to click on reset again and you will need to sign back into Roblox. So now launch the game again and see if that helped. If that didn't fix the issue then the next thing to do is try playing Roblox in your web browser. So to do this all we need to do is open up our web browser. You now need to go ahead and launch a game. I'm just going to launch driving simulator and you then need to press the play button. You will now have the option to download and install Roblox. You need to click onto this button and you then need to run the .exe in the top right hand corner. Once it's finished installing, press OK and then close this down and then press the play button again. You now need to tick this box that says always allow and press open link. And there we go, that's how you launch Roblox through the web browser version. See if that fixes the issue. If that didn't fix the problem, then close this completely down again. And the next thing we're going to do is just try changing the compatibility mode of the Roblox player for the web browser version. So you should now have a shortcut on your desktop. This one here you can see is the silver one. Right click onto this and then go to properties and then go to compatibility. And we now need to tick run this program as an administrator and press apply and OK. Now go ahead and launch the game through the web browser version again and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then the next thing I'd suggest is try reinstalling the Roblox app version again. So I hope this video did help you out and you enjoyed it. Like I said at the start of the video, I will pop a link in the description below to our website 
where we may have added more methods and things that you can do. So if you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.